back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be reviewing in full the Too Faced Sweet Peach Collection. So I have the eyeshadow palette as well as the glow palette. And then I also have a blush on deck as well as a lip gloss. And I'm super, super excited to get into this and to talk to you guys about all of it. So without further ado, let's just jump into it. Okay, so first off, we're just going to jump in and talk about the eyeshadow palette. So the palette looks like this on the outside, if you have not seen it already. It starts with kind of a light peach color and ombres down to an orange. It has the Too Faced logo on the top and then the Sweet Peach palette on the bottom. So when you open the palette up, it just looks like this. It is in the same packaging as the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette, so if you guys like the tin container that those come in, you're definitely going to enjoy this one. So it does come with a magnetic type closing system. So when you open it up, you see the mirror on the top, which just has the Too Faced logo on the top, and then the Sweet Peach logo on the bottom, and then the mirror in the middle. So the shadows look like this. There are 18 shades in the palette. Eight of them are matte shadows and then the rest, obviously the other 10, are going to be shimmer shadows. So it is a majority shimmer palette, which kind of struck me as funny because I normally don't go for really shimmery palettes. I'm a really big fan of matte shadows, but when I saw this, I just... I really couldn't get over it like it's so pretty and it smells so good that I just could not I could not pass it up so this palette is going to set you back $59 Canadian and each shadow has 0 0.03 ounces worth of product have this palette on my eyes right now. I actually have the shade Caramelized, which is this one right here, all over my lid. And then I also blended it out with the shade right next to it, which is called Georgia. So you can create a thousand different looks with this palette, and I think that's why I like it so, so much. It's a palette that I can take with me, and I know that I'm going to be able to create some sort of look with wherever I am, whatever I'm doing. So yeah, I would definitely say that this is worth your money if you do not have it. I don't know, call your Sephora and get them to put you on a hold list or something, get them to email you when it's back in stock. It's it's fantastic and I would definitely, definitely recommend you guys going to pick it up. So the next product that I'm going to be reviewing for you guys is going to be the Sweet Peach Glow Palette. It just looks like this, obviously. It has the same packaging as the eyeshadow palette, as the blush. It has the same kind of packaging, like I said, like the chocolate bar palette. It is just that metal casing with the um, a magnetic kind of closure. So on the inside you do again have the cute little mirror with the little peach on the little corner and then it also looks like this. So it is really pretty. They have a highlighter, a blush topper, as well as a very warm toned bronzer. I actually have this on my face today. I have the highlight on as well as the blush like the blush topper, I have the blush on as well, and I also have the bronzer kind of mixed in with my contour. When I open this one up, it has the exact same scent as the palette, as the blush, as the lip gloss. Everything really does have the same scent. The lip gloss is a little bit different just because of the formulation. It's not a powder, obviously. 
So I will let you guys know that this product right here is going to set you back $52. And I will let you know as well that the highlighter, which is this shade right here, is 0 0.10 ounces. The blush is 0.19 ounces and the bronzer is again 0.10 ounces. So the blush obviously being a little bit larger is going to have a little bit more product in there. I really do wish that the biggest kind of product in this palette was the highlighter because it is a very very pretty highlighter. Um, it's a very kind of like peachy toned shade um, but it's not too in your face that you look like you're wearing like an orange highlighter. It is still very very like very like vanilla like ir iridescent the blush topper and bronzer are also very nice the bronzer is a warm tone bronzer so if you have kind of like fair skin like me you don't need to really be worried about it it's not too too overpowering and the blush topper goes over really nicely over top of the blush it's not too too much so I am going to swatch the glow palette for you guys right now. So this is the highlight shade. Like I said, very kind of like orangey but not too overpowering. It is very powdery, I find, in the palette. It does have a lot of um, like kickback or kick up or whatever you would like to call it. I have two of them myself, so this is the shade, this is the palette that I've been using most frequently, and as you can tell, I have kind of given this shade some love. The blush topper is also very pretty. It does look like this on the finger. I don't know if you guys can really tell. It is quite powdery. They all do have a little bit of kick up. Um, this is the blush topper right here. And then I'll also swatch the bronzer for you guys. Which just looks like this. And we'll swatch that on my hand as well and that one just looks like this so these are the three shades from the highlighting palette again you guys I would definitely recommend this one if you don't have shades like it if you guys already have a highlighter that looks like this you don't really need it if you guys already have like a blush topper that looks like this you don't really need it so I would say all around this is a really nice palette to purchase for yourself for a friend for a gift or anything like that but yeah you guys I would definitely say it was not a regret for me to purchase this I would definitely say that if you had your heart set on it definitely go out and buy it it is is a really nice package so I would definitely say it's a good buy in my opinion okay guys so the third product that we're going to be talking about in this review is the Too Faced Papa Don't Peach blush so it looks like this on the outside that on the back it has the really cute little peach like emoji guy on the front and it's all really like bumpy lettering it is the same packaging as the eyeshadow palette and as the highlighting palette the like magnetic little clutch in this one is super strong but before we get into a swatch I will let you guys know that this blush is going to set you back $38 Canadian and it is 0 0.32 ounces worth of product so when you open it up the cap is a little bit flimsy if you can't tell so it just looks like this when you open it up and so you have your cute little mirror here with the cute little peach guy right down here and then this is the product so it is a pretty good size blush, really. It's going to last you a long time. The shade is quite different from the highlighting palette, so if you're kind of worried about getting both, you're not going to get the same, the same shade in both um, products. This is the shade that the blush looks like on my hand. So when you kind of like hit the light with it, it does give off quite a quite a shimmer which is nice because if I'm ever like rushing around in the morning and I don't have time to put on a highlight or something like that I know that I'm still going to get that kind of like that nice glow from the blush which is always really really nice to have so I'm just really quickly going to show you guys what I mean by the products kind of having a different color so this is the blush topper from the highlighting palette and I'm just going to swatch it right next to it. 
So as you guys can tell, this one right here is the blush and this is the blush topper. So this one is quite a deeper shade versus this one and they would look really good kind of paired together. But for this one, you guys, hands down, I would 100% say that you should go and find this blush. It's a blush that you're kind of not going to find on the market really from anybody else. Um, so like I said, again, here's the shade and when it hits the light, it's just so pretty. I just cannot get over it. I love wearing it. I put it on my face almost every day. So I would definitely 100% say that you guys should run out and grab this blush. This one is one that I will back forever. Um, everything about it, the smell, the packaging, I just, I really think all of the packaging is so cute. I just really, really like the blush and packaging and everything that comes with it. Okay guys, so the last product that we're going to be talking about today is going to be the Too Faced Sweet Peach Creamy Peach Oil Lip Gloss. Now I have this shade here in Papa Don't Peach. I'm just going to open up the packaging, but while I'm doing that, I will let you guys know that the lip gloss here retails for 24 Canadian dollars and it is 0.14 ounces of product. So when you look at the packaging like this, it is really pretty. It is a nude lip gloss. And then on the top, I don't know if it's going to focus, but you do have the cute little peach emoji guy there. So when you open it up, um, the wand is a longer doe foot applicator, which is really nice. It bends. It helps the, like, the lip gloss go on really smoothly, really, like, effortlessly. Um, I have it on my lips right now underneath of a MAC lipstick, which I will link below. I'm um, just going to kind of swatch it very quickly on my hand for you guys. It just kind of looks like this on my hand. So it is a very nude shade. It is very pretty on top of a lip gloss and underneath of a lip gloss. Um, it smells absolutely fantastic, just like all of the other products. So I would suggest, there isn't much to talk about with this, you guys. It does have a, real, a lot of really nice ingredients in it that are very hydrating for your, for your lips. Um, and it doesn't really slip around too much. It doesn't kind of bleed into your lip lines or anything like that. Okay, guys, so that is it for the Too Faced Sweet Peach Collection review. I just wanted to take a quick second to thank you guys for watching. Thank you for making me a part of your day. And just one more thing, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below before you leave, as well as the little bell next to it so you can be notified for future videos. And if you guys have any requests of anything at all, whether it be a tutorial or a review or anything in between, just leave me a comment down below and I'll definitely get back to you guys. Thank you guys again so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.